Good morning, Lakeland Community College. This is the Cleveland Radio Show on Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio, and we are joined today by a brilliant night. Um, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for having us. So can you tell us a little bit about the band? Um, basically, wow, we started, I want to say roughly two years ago, I would say. Uh, you know, we've, um, me, the guitarist, and the drummer, we've been in multiple bands together. Uh, me and the guitarist were in high school. We were in high school bands, like punk bands. Um, then the drummer, uh, I was in a band with him uh, about 2000, I want to say 13 or mm -hmm. so. We were like in a more like metal-y type band, screamo. And then, uh, you know, we kind of all split up and took a different direction. And uh, me and the drummer met m with our guitarist now. Um, he was working at a, a pizza shop. <laughs> and um, I was like, hey, man, you want to jam again? He's like, sure, sure. And then we brought him in and the rest is history. We've been playing ever since. So what made you want to just start up again? Um, oh, wow. Uh, just just love being on stage, you know, just love love performing, love the energy from the crowd, you know, the raw emotion from everyone. How'd you come up with the name? That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> there was so many names tossed around, you know, um, goofy names. You know, like I said, back in our high school days, we had a band called The Disgustings because <laughs> we all just did crazy <laughs> random stuff. <laughs> From you know, I don't even want to. I don't even know if I could say some of the stuff on the air, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> the name "A Brilliant Night" basically, um, we wanted to capture something that essentially meant having a great time, mm -hmm. having a party. Just meant that everybody could be equal and come together and just have a brilliant night. You know, so it kind of just stuck. Now I know you said you did screamo and metal in the past. What type of music do you play now? It's more alternative. Um, the CD that I gave you is like our, roughly, I would say our demo. Mm -hmm. uh, it has some screaming, um, you know, but it has some lighter songs, some poppier songs. So um, I would say we're kind of in the middle, just more of a radio alternative, you know, kind of rock sound, I would say. Who are some of your influences? My personal influences, um, you know, Blink, we were talking about Blink, I grew up, you know, I, I actually grew up listening to really like, kind of like California punk, um, Stiff Little Fingers, um, just weird old school punk, the Ramones, Pistols, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then over the years, it kind of, my tastes kind of changed, I would say, so I got more into the, um, the 2000s Vans Warped Tour era mm -hmm. music, you know, Census Fail, Silverstein, uh, you know course now skylight drive um just it all it varies i mean even now and then i'll listen to elvis i'll listen to johnny cash you know i listen to irish music you know listen to it all you know <laughs> who would you say is mo been most influential and why oh wow um artist wise artist group hmm, hmm. i'd have to say um you know, my family. My family has always been there and always supported me um, musically, artistically. Um, yeah, as far as um, actually playing, I guess my grandfather, he mm -hmm. used to play guitar and used to sing for a bluegrass band. Um, so me being little and seeing him do that, I was like, that's what I want to do. You know, I want to want to follow in his footsteps. But uh, artist, artist-wise, um, I'd have to say, you know, again, just blink bands like bands like that, pretty much. If you could tour with any group or artist, who would it be and why? <laughs> wow, that's a good one. <laughs> um, a Day to Remember. That would be my my newest band that I'm really into. Uh, that would be pretty cool. I've seen them at work for uh, two years ago. Really? Yeah. It was, um, they, were, they were the last band to go on. And my dad, and my dad was like, um, um, no, we got to leave. I'm like, yeah, I want to stay for this last band. <laughs> Come on. So we so, 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 so we stayed in for it and um, Kyle, I'm not picking good. you up at all. Really? This is Mike even working? No. No. You, Do I try turning that one on? This one on? Yeah. Wait, just speaking. Of your Hello. Okay, you're good. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, about we're back. That. No, that's okay. okay. We're back. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I, I, I've seen D. Remember, uh, about two years ago, I think, at Warped Tour. And uh, they're the last band to go on, and uh, my dad was like, "No, no, no, you have to leave." And like, "Dad, I want to stay for this last band, please." And it was day to remember, and uh, they played at like played at, played at like I think eight fifteen something at night. And this was and this is when um this is when um uh, Warp Tour was going to about nine eleven o'clock. Wow. Yeah. And um um uh, but um um but they but but they cut off to nine because um uh, uh 
the the it, I, I guess the um the change in time and stuff the um the uh um the daylight savings time and stuff always was was was, 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 getting, was getting too dark and stuff they couldn't really see all the all, all other equipment and stuff yeah so um, obviously they wanted to make it nine o'clock so it's so so, so warped tours from eleven to the nine now uh we used to be it used to be like uh it used to be um eleven to eleven to eleven before yeah, uh, yeah, I remember in, those. So, that's, so, 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 so I saw the, the, I did I remember it and they were pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I remember being uh, little and going to Warped Tour. Yeah, like you're saying, 11 to 11. Um, we'd get there like, I remember it was at the Tower City Amphitheater. Yeah, I remember that. Remember yeah, that's, always, what I, that's what it was. Yeah. We'd always go down there, you know, and we'd be like the first in line, you know, like get, try to get right up to the gate and you'd see all like, you know, the, the artists walking around. You'd be like, hey, 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 what's up? What's going on? No, um, I actually shirt, had, uh, I actually had a drummer from, um, from uh, Ann Arbor, um, um, come up to me and he stuck a sticker on my back. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> and the cool. whole time I didn't know I had a sticker on my back until I took my shirt off. I was like, oh, a sticker. I remember one time I had my credentials on and uh, I actually jumped the gate. Really? Uh, with a couple of my buddies, I jumped the gate and I snuck behind. And some mom, she was like a soccer mom. She was there with her kids, and her kids loved Newfound Glory. They had like Newfound Glory shirts mm -hmm. on. They had stickers all over them and stuff. And she's like, "Hey you, hey you, blah 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 blah." And I'm like, "Oh yeah." I'm like, "My name's Jordan Pudnik from the Newfound Glory." And she's like, "Oh my gosh, sign my shirt, sign my shirt." And I signed her <laughs> shirt. You know, <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Warp Tour. I've just never had the chance. <laughs> Tickets are still available. Yeah, this year too is supposed to be the lineup. Supposed to be pretty good. It is. When is it? It's uh, July twenty third. It's on a Thursday. Is it? Yeah. It's always, it's always on a Thursday. Um, um, it's always in July. Um, uh, the last couple of years, uh, last year it was on the eighth or something like that. And it was uh, it was on a Thursday, so it's always on a Thursday. Um, it's always in July. Yeah. It's always at, it's always it's, it, 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 it's it's always now at Blossom now since yeah since, that's since, the only since, thing since, yeah. since Tower City uh shut down and so yeah and I don't really care much for Blossom because no. you got those seats in front you know by the I mean areas. I mean you got I mean you got I mean you got when when it's a hot day you got the um, you got the big pavilion on 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 main stage and stuff which which is not really main stage all the time is it it's it, 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 it varies different years. It, it, it's, it's split up into two different stages. Yeah. Um. But uh, last year it was split up into two stages. Two different stages. Uh. The main stage was like, uh, the Monster Energy Drink stage or something like that. Um. Out, out in the open and uh, it's it, it, it's pretty good. Um. Um. And stuff. Um. But the seating wise, it hurts your butt. Yeah. yeah it does. You're sitting there, especially if you're sitting there for so long. Oh, yeah. Like, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I've been in numerous concerts <laughs> at Blossom and I'm. You just can't do it. No. <laughs> But speaking of Blossom, what is your favorite venue and why to perform at? Well, I'll tell you my least favorite is Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> um, Have you ever played Blossom? No, no. no. I, I'm, I wish I could play it, but... I don't. At the same time, it's like I don't want to put my fans through that, you know, yeah. sitting in those seats. Especially, <laughs> especially, especially on a cold day, because I saw Blink One Eight Two uh, for the reunion tour in two thousand eight. Yeah, I was there. Uh, with uh, with um with um uh, it was uh, all of my rejects, but they but they, but they uh, all of my rejects and Fall Out Boy, but all of my rejects uh, uh had like go because uh. Uh, Tyson had a uh, had a tumor in his ankle. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, I didn't so know yes, wow. yeah, so I heard I heard the news over the uh, the PA system. It says um 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 uh, Tyson uh whatever his last name is, I think it's Ritter, um and um and um had 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 to be rushed to the hospital um uh, because he had a tumor in his ankle. It's like oh man, man. I want, I want that, the, the, that's the band I wanted to see too, <laughs> but um but nice. I, it, it, it was cold. I was dressed up. I was I, I was all snuggled up in my in my, in my, in my blankets <laughs> and stuff. It was it was it was the worst feeling because um because they had, they, had, they had to reschedule that day. On the, those they they they, they, just, they had to reschedule because um the death of uh um uh Travis Barker's friend oh yeah when he got did, on, the plane um, so they, they, they they had to reschedule that day um um the, it was supposed to be on a warmer day but they they they, they, they scheduled schedule on uh, later on because of the death of, the, of, his, of his friend and stuff so they wanted to they wanted to um have uh some uh some some alone time and stuff like that but yeah. it was it was a good it was a good show let, let alone I mean Travis Barker came out with his shirt off and everything yeah, else he played was he started care, jam, yeah. jamming along I mean <laughs> it was ridiculous. It's insane. You know, especially getting after you know a plane crash, like, and you're gonna get back up on oh, stage. Yeah. Like, that's, that's dedication, man. That's dedication. So you you were saying your least favorite? Didn't yeah, yeah, my, my, my least favorite is Blossom. Um, probably my favorite. Oh wow. You know, I loved as much as everyone's gonna say, man. How could you say this? I loved Peabody's. You know, before yeah. they tore it down, that was that was like home. That was home to you know, especially us, to Brilliant Night. You know, to the guys. Um, we've, we've played there ever since I can remember, you know, being in like ninth grade playing there, even younger, you know, 
Yeah, it um, sucks that it, it sucks that they went out of business and stuff. I think this will happen. They went out of business and uh, they just uh, they shut, shut shut down. They had like what three stages, like 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 um, like 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 uh, three down below and like one up one up, yeah, one up above was, called the Pirate Cove or something like that. Uh, the Rockstar was the, the Rockstar one. Yeah. What was Pirate Cove? Pirate's Cove was like the one. Um, I don't know how to describe in the it. corner. It in, yeah, like the corner. In the okay, back. yeah. And then uh, then there was the main stage, of course. But yeah, I mean, I love <laughs> I love little venues like that just because it's so intimate. You know, you yeah. can really. Especially us when we play, it's our live show is just very energetic, very emotional, you know. Um, so I just love the connection with the fans, you know. I love to really get up in them, let them sing and everything, you know. See everybody chanting, and cheering. That's what so the um, cool. the, 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 that's what the, that's what the grog shop is for. Um, the grog shop is a, it, 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 it's, it's a closed stage and stuff. Where, where people can go back, go 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 wait in line and stuff. Or I don't know how long. I don't I I think the practice wait time is about like thirty minutes to see your band and stuff. Yeah. And stuff, and you get to wait in line and stuff. And you get to get autograph and stuff. You get to meet on stage, go up on stage with them and stuff. Um. So it's it, it's actually pretty fun. I especially if it's your friend's band and stuff, and 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 they have you come up on stage and sing with them. That's it. it, it yeah. It's a really nice experience. Yeah. 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 Like I remember we played the Grog Shop uh, a while back, and yeah, the sound the sound system is like phenomenal there. That's love, the one in Coventry area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you could play any venue in the world you haven't played yet, what would it be and why? Wow. I don't even know. <laughs> um, I would have loved to play um, CBGB. You yeah, know? when they shut down, before yeah. they shut down, yeah. I would have, that would have been, like, my ultimate, just so many great names on that stage. Or the, you know? um, or the Rose Bowl, or the Coliseum. Yeah, yeah. yeah big, even big, big stadiums like that. Yeah, big stadiums. That'd be insane to play a stadium show. <laughs> So how do you go about choosing the venue you perform at? I usually don't have any control of that. We usually let the guitarist because he's phenomenal. Uh -huh. Rob, he's phenomenal at booking shows. Um, he's yeah. We say you just take the reins, Rob. You you do your thing. He makes magic when it comes to shows. But usually, um, you know, we usually play a lot with. You know, we have certain bands that we play a lot with in the past and everything. So we try to book shows with them as well. So we all kind of go in. It's a group effort too. And, uh, yeah, and just book a show. What's the craziest thing a fan has done at one of your concerts? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Probably signing someone's boobs. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Hopefully funny. I can say that. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's anything on the, on, on, on the list up there, but the, 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 that's actually pretty funny um, because oh, usually, usually people get signed on, uh, usually when people get signed on, uh, on some parts of their body, they, um, 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 they usually go get, go, go, go get tattooed and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, but it was, um, um, so it doesn't wash off and when, um, and when, when it washes off, they, um, um, they, 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 they have a tattoo left, so yeah, it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you guys have ever done in a concert? Oh, wow. Um, broken, broken guitar or anything like that? Not really. I almost fell off stage once. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was running back and forth, and I don't even know what happened. I think I tripped on Rob's cord because somehow we got tangled up. Yeah, it happens um, sometimes. Yeah, and uh, I ran to the side, and I was just, yeah, I was doing one of these on the side. Like, oh, boy. whoa, whoa. I almost dropped the mic and everything. Oh, and then another time, too, our drummer, Jake, uh, we were playing Peabody's, and they had, um, like, a riser. But someone didn't okay. set it up like properly. I don't know. It was, it like, was, kinda, like, it was like uneven or something. Yeah, yeah it was kind of like it was just like a two piece almost. But it, I don't, I don't, I don't know. They just didn't do it right. Yeah. Anyways, I was jumping around, on and it. I jumped up on the riser and, and I jumped backwards like off and I kicked the riser and he said he was playing drums to the song and he just felt the whole thing just move. Oh and boy, the drum set was coming apart and everything. He's like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. Hey, hey, Kevin, I have a question. Um. Uh, what, um, what are some local bands that you play with over the years? Um, Catala, you know, those are our friends, our dear friends. We, uh, play with Pizza Creeps. Those guys are our buddies, too. They're actually, they're actually, they're actually coming in on yeah, Friday, Yeah, I was gonna so. say, you guys have a lot of bands we've played with. Um, yeah, we played with Jesse from, uh, Mr. Fabulous and the Bad Boys. Um, yeah. I've got to listen to his music. That stuff's rocking. Um, I'm just hoping, yeah, to play with as many people as we can, you know, once we get back in the swing of things. Have you ever, um, have you ever, um, opened up for like a, like a um, 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 like one of those big name bands? Like, uh, like, uh, I know that, uh, all my friends from Good Night Tonight, they, uh, they opened up for, uh, for the, 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 the Red Jump Street Apparatus on, on Friday. Oh, wow. And, uh, at, 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 I think the, out, uh, the Outpost, yeah, outpost, in, yeah, outpost yeah. in Kent, yeah. I was actually going to go to that show. Um, <laughs> my girlfriend was telling me about it. She's like, oh my gosh, you know, they're coming. So we were gonna go, but yeah, it was it was it was with the Skylight Drive too, I think too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You mentioned you mentioned you liked, you, mentioned, you mentioned you liked them too. So yeah, I would have loved to play with them. Um, but yeah, we've had offers too at the Outpost. I'm hoping you know we can get get down there soon. 
play a show. But uh, yeah, I would have loved to went to that show as well. Yeah. Um, what else? We missed Census Fail too. Was actually here. We missed. Yeah, them. They, 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 they were. I think they were here in October or something like that. Yeah, with like a uh, Bear Tooth and something like that. A couple other harder bands. But back to your question. Um, some of the bands we've opened up for uh was um a pretty big one. Um, Parkway Drive. We opened okay, up for yeah, them I heard at them. the Tap Tour at the House of Blues. I heard them. Yeah. Um, I don't listen we, to them though, but I've b- 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 heard of them. I heard I've, I've heard a lot of bands that people um, people on people tour with, but I don't listen to them a lot. But yeah, um, who else? There's, there's a bunch more, and I just can't even think for the life of me. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, like uh, not Gorilla Biscuits. Um, Whole Wheat Bread was like another band. Hmm, never heard of them. They're, they're kind of. I don't even know what they even play anymore. I don't know. Um, yeah, I can't even think off the top of my head. There's just too many shows. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna take a quick. Um, break to play one of your songs from your cd and then we'll be right back um, right. this is the cleveland radio show on lakeland's lake effect radio Sorry about the difficulties. You promised me the stars, said you'd never break my heart. If we could escape and leave this place, we'd be the ones who ride and left no trace. Engraved here in my heart. Do what you will, stretch so far Don't tear it apart and I can't believe that there's a place in my heart That you never reach No, no, don't never reach No, no, we can just stay with me If we're still here, it's meant to be
16 and we school. are back and so kyle as we just caught who's been together since they were 16 since uh green days green days been together since they were 16 in high school uh wow. they've uh, they've been together uh the drummer uh the guitar player the bass player and uh and uh, and, uh billy joe armstrong they've been it's, together for what's what would you say 25 years now or yeah because like that? that's the minimum amount of time you have to be performing to be i thought it was 20 to be inducted i thought it was 25 i thought it was 20 20 20, 20 years because i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know we'll, we'll, we'll have to look it up later yeah so um speaking of the being inducted to the rock hall what are some of the goals you want to achieve as a band um, so actually go on a full fledged tour. Um, you know, that'd be that'd just be killer. Um to um get a manager, you know, have someone manage us. Um I've been talking with a friend and we'll see, you know, what happens with that later on down the road. But um and get signed to a label as well. I mean but you know, how everyone's saying I have mixed emotions as well about the label. Um, because they say a lot, you know, you can DIY it now, you know, especially with the internet, and yeah, everything like that. So, I know that um the, uh, the band that uh the band that I um that I helped interview with Spencer uh, one one of our D- one of our other DJs, um yesterday was it yesterday yeah, yesterday uh they're, they're the band called uh um, Nameless uh, out of East Lake. Hmm. And uh, and they actually they actually said that um they actually do um they actually, they actually made their on uh, on um, uh, their their seven song CD uh, um uh, themselves. Oh wow. wow! So yeah. Um, speaking of which, too, uh, I through my school I work with um Steve Robinson. He does these little things A and R workshops, mm-hmm. and he he's a uh, um the vice president of A uh, and R at Atlantic Records. Hmm. And every time I sign up for these little classes, you know, to do the pitch. And one of my goals is I will never pitch our band. I'm like I'm never hmm. gonna pitch our band. Because I want us to do it ourselves, you mm-hmm. know. But I always pitch our friend's band, Catala. Like, every time I'm like, you know, I write up this little bio and, you know, I tell them, I say, hey, guys, um, you know, my workshop's coming up. I'm pitching you guys again. They're like, cool, cool. So every time I'm pitching them, you know. So hopefully yeah. one day, you know. Um, I know I, well, there was a band from here. I can't remember the name. Um, Locally? They, yeah, yeah, it's a local band. I know he what he personally, Steve Robinson, was looking at them. Um Oh, uh, girl singer. Um, I can't even think for the life of me. Um, local, um, local girl, girl singer. singer uh, oh, I, I like girl I singers too. Think, so. yeah. um, I don't um, know. It will probably come to me later. But um, I know he was looking into them, so I thought that was really cool. You know, someone. You know, you, um, 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 you know who the girl singer's name is? No By chance. No. Uh, no. No. no it's, it's, it's gonna bother me. Yeah. I can remember it later. We'll probably, <laughs> in, usually, we'll probably interviewed him sometime this week. Yeah, yeah, probably. I'm usually able to um, 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 to put the uh, to put the voice to the um, um, um to the band, and then and then if I have a name, I can put the name to the band. Think almost like Paramore, because I know Steve Robinson. He worked with Paramore. He okay. Think them the, up. Like Kenny Hearts. No, not, no, not they're, they're, they're not local though. No. They're yeah, they're like a local. But they they sound like Paramore though. Yeah. I was gonna say she kind of resembles Paramore um, you know, in a sense. Hmm. Locally, uh, they're huh. they're a really good band. I mean, uh, not, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna bother me. <laughs> it's, gonna, yeah, it's gonna bother me too. Now. If you don't mind me asking, what do you mean to pitch your band exactly? Um, they do that. They you can kind of um you know pitch an artist. Uh-huh. You know, because you're kind of also you're pitching an artist for them to kind of like work with. Pre- okay. Kind of promoting them and stuff. Yeah, you're okay. kind of yeah you're kind of promoting them, but you're also showing that you know you could work as an A and R representative. Okay. You know. So it's kind of also like an in, a job interview, I okay. guess, essentially. Sorry about that. I'm No, no. <laughs> I should have cleared that up. <laughs> um, what's your favorite original song on your demo CD? Oh, wow. Probably, I don't know. That's a hard one. I know on the CD, I would say I really like Etched In. Which musically, just yeah, you just Yeah, that yeah. you just played. Um, musically, that song is it's crazy, you know. Um, it's very catchy with the lyrics and Rob's guitar work is just phenomenal you know on it and uh, I guess my second favorite would be um, the flood which you know is about um, deforestation mm. my wildlife and stuff like that so I guess it has a little more meaning to it so do you do any covers at your shows or yeah we do we usually try to pick one song and cover it um I know recently we were playing uh Justin Bieber's baby oh god <laughs> yeah. oh jeez that's <laughs> old on, school guys. there don't rip on me don't rip on me but uh, yeah, it was it's funny. Um, what else? Uh, you know, we played um, a song for the Beastie Boys. Um, I believe it was No Sleep Till Brooklyn. Um, another song. What was another cover that we? Co- oh, uh, Rick Astley. Um, Never gonna give you up. <laughs> 
you guys should cover like uh like all American rejects like 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 like, like, like an all American rejects kind of song like um gives you hell or um or um or, or swing swing or something yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, we swing, might use swing, that. Swing, we might use that. Uh, uh, swing swing is actually good. It's actually good uh, guitar riffs and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that song for a long time actually. Yes, that was one of the very first songs that they um, 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 that they ever wrote and uh it was the very first album on their um on um, um, the, um, the the one number one on their on on their chart whatever chart they were on they went number one. And I was, uh, and then they, they, they wrote hit, hit, hit after hit after hit, and it's like, I met them. I met them at the House of Blues a couple years ago. And they're, 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 they're actually pretty nice guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they, they seem really down there. And I even know. told him, I even told my favorite song is "Swing Swing." And he goes, "Yeah." And I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, and the singer Tyson goes, "Yes, my favorite song that I'm, 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 um, because um, uh, it's one of my favorites because um, it has it has it, it, it has a nice melody to it, um, and it, 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 it's it's it, it's something you can, you can jam your car to. Yeah, yeah. So it's like one of those it's it's one of those it's, it's one of those um ones where you can um uh be because it gives you hell when you can't really jam your car with. It's like it's like <laughs> but 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 that song is but that, that song's my mom's ringtone to my <laughs> calls me. <laughs> she, 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 she does give me hell sometimes, but it is it is what it is. But um, they're they're, awesome. they're a good band all around. So yeah, yeah. Well, we're gonna take a quick commercial break, but we will be right back. Effect Radio. Keep rocking around the clock tower, guys. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash My opportunity in respiratory therapy began at Lakeland, and now I'm your respiratory therapist. My dream career began in the Adult Accelerated Program at Lakeland. Now, I'm a financial analyst. My career in special education started at Lakeland, and today I counsel adults with special needs in our community. The University Center of Lakeland Community College creates new opportunities for you to earn advanced degrees. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Visit lakelandcc.edu. The Summer Break Festival in Kent, Ohio on June 28th presented by Chill. It's the very first Kent-based festival dedicated to bring back the very best pop, punk, rock, and alternate bands in the area. The bands that will be featured are Song For Her, Good Night Tonight, Instead of sleeping, chill before the streetlights, hit the ground running, Nick Wilkerson, John Halling, and Keys and Corridors. Tickets are available at www.chillrockband.com. Tickets are $10. The doors open at 4 p.m. Music starts 4.30 to 10 p.m. For one-on-one personal research assistance, make an appointment with a Lakeland librarian. Lakeland librarians offer personal help with research for assignments, projects, and papers. Stop by the library, reference desk, or call 440-525-7425 to schedule an appointment for a 20, 30, or 40-minute session. The library is located on the third floor of the C building. Hey guys, check us out at www.youtube.com slash user slash Lake Effect Radio Station slash feed for past shows and interview videos. Making a difference in the world starts with doing one thing, like recycling, baby. Lakeland's Men's Resource Center presents Frank Kitchen, two-time author and Lakeland alum. From Wednesday, April 22nd, 7 to 8.15 p.m. Also on Thursday, April 23rd, from 3.30 to 4.40 p.m. This event will be hosted at the Lakeland Community College H Building, room H101. Call 440-525-7452. Pre-register and be entered for a chance to win a free autographed copy of Frank's latest book, Fresh from the Kitchen. It is also available for sale at the Lakeland Bookstore. This event is free. Once again, I would like to reiterate, free, free, free. And it is made possible through a grant from the Diversity Committee at the Lakeland Community College. The internet is, for some, becoming an uncontrollable compulsion. The internet is infected. Spreading the infection at Livestream.com forward slash Lake Effect. Effect Radio. Spring Fling Day, sponsored by the Campus Activities Board. Tuesday, April 21st, is Zoo Day from 11 to 1.30 p.m. Valley Exotic Zoo, live animals that you can touch, including a baby kangaroo, reptiles, and more. Located in the AFC, also known as the Multipurpose Gym. 
For personal research assistance, make an appointment with a Lakeland librarian. Stop by the library reference desk or call 440-525-7425 for more information. The library is located on the third floor of C Building. You're listening to the magnificent, fantastic Lake Effect Radios from Lakeland Community College in Cutland, Ohio. Keep on rocking around the clock tower, y'all. For one-on-one personal research assistance, make an appointment with a Lakeland librarian. Lakeland librarians offer personal help with research for assignments, projects, and papers. Stop by the library reference desk or call 440-525-7425 to schedule an appointment for a 20, 30, or 40-minute session. The library is located on the third floor of the C building. The 11th Annual Deaf Awareness Days is here. Wednesday, April 8th and Thursday, April 9th, starting at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on Wednesday, the second time will be 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. It's going to be in the Breakers Atrium. Discover deaf culture, history and communication, and experience video phones, video relays, participate in interactive skill challenges, and learn how to fingerspell your own name. Learn about Lakeland's ASL program as well. All events are free and open to the public. For more information, please call 440-525-1787 or email jbrosman at lakelandcc.edu. And we are back. This is the Cleveland Radio Show on Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Join today by a brilliant night. So I just thought of this during the break. If someone offered you ten thousand dollars to do an album with just country music would you do it it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, asking wow. a lot i know that's yeah, you can't answer that one. Oh man oh man i don't even know uh i'm gonna i'm gonna get beat up for saying this but yes i would i would totally do i need the money <laughs> i need the money i got school loans i got i gotta put food on the table <laughs> pay rent so yeah i'd totally do it um yeah, it depends, though. Am I singing or am I, can I play an instrument? What doesn't can I matter. Do? Doesn't matter? Yeah, I'll do it then. I'll just play drums. <laughs> just put me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you? Would you do it? <laughs> well, I'm a country fan, so yes. If I had to do Screamo for $10,000, yeah, I would do it. <laughs> You? I, I, I probably, for country music, probably not. But <laughs> it's but for like thousand dollars. But for like rock and roll music, I, I probably would, but not for country though. Yeah, it's money. Yeah, it's country, money. I need the I mean, money. I'm I mean, sorry. Country music, if if, if if I have to sing it, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a totally suck at it because I don't like I don't like <laughs> I like country music, but only certain only certain people I like. Yeah. So I mean, so the old country. Yeah, I always it's funny because I always sing like old country songs to my girlfriend. She's like, eh. she's like yeah. how do you even know those songs? I'm like it's because my family, and my uncle, because he used to work at a country station, and you know me being little. So it's pretty. Yeah, um, I just I just found out that um, that the WKKY is in like Geneva somewhere. Yeah, it's so yeah. actually where he used to work. Yeah. Yeah, and and it's a, it's a, it's a small building. It's like. It's, 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 it's like, is, it, it's like a, is it even a radio station there? <laughs> it's like a small building. You know, I used to live up in that way, and I drive by it once a week, and it's literally like next to a pizza shop. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's yeah. Something, something like that. Yeah. yeah. My uncle's probably listening right now. <laughs> but, it's, but but it's not a bad station though. I like the station though. But no, yeah. Well, um, I never knew it was out in Geneva. That I never. Way. I never really got in the country myself, but like I said, old country. I yeah. Guess. Do you have any tips for people who might want to start a band but are afraid of not being good or just do it? <laughs> you know, um, like Nike says, just do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just go out there and be yourself. Yeah, really. just get out there, be yourself, and who cares what the haters are gonna say? You know, like Taylor Swift says, shake it off, <laughs> shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> <laughs> I just <had> to quote <laughs> that. <laughs> so, Kyle, I'm gonna turn the tables around. Do you have any questions for us? Oh wow. Uh, give me your guys' favorite artists. At least your uh, top two. Kid Rock would probably be my top one. Kid Rock? Because he has so much variety. He has the slower ballads, his hard rock, and now country. It's a little bit of everything that I like in one. Who's your, who's your second one? Yeah, who would be your oh, second? Oh, second. <sighs> I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this, but probably Taylor Swift. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Her new stuff. <laughs> mine's, uh, mine's, uh, uh, I have uh, I I have one and two kind of put at the top because I've I've seen I've seen one band uh, uh once and the other band like what three times, the one band is Blink One Eighty Two which I love uh, and uh, Mass Rocks Twenty which which oh, which, w- which I admire the most out of any bands I that, that I've ever listened to, because uh, because not only all those songs are original but they're but they're 
but, but, but they tell a story. Yeah, they yeah. they really tell a story, and and you, you don't really get that from bands much anymore. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And my favorite song is is, is gotta be "Long Day" by Maxwell's Twenty. It's it's <laughs> it, it's like the one it's the one song that sticks in your head all day. Like, if you have a long day, you listen to that song all <laughs> all day long. That's gonna be today. I gotta go to work. Or um, or, um, or three a.m. <laughs> I was I was I was, I was, I was, I was, I was I'm, 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 true story, funny story actually. Um, I was um, uh, I was uh. I was um uh, I was I was getting up to get a drink of water or or or, 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 or something I drink in the middle of the night and my ra- and my radio comes on for some reason and it's three a.m. by Max Twenty and, 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 and it's literally three a.m. in the morning. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> That's <laughs> very creepy. But it's funny though. But yeah, my radio comes on because my radio is my my. my, my 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 alarm clock is my radio, and sometimes it, I'm, I'm I'm my my my, my button kind of sticks. Mm-hmm. So so it kind of like so so, so, so if, 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 even if I hit it a little bit, it goes on. It's like really. <laughs> so I must I must have nudged it when it came on. It was. But, it was, but uh, yeah, but um, actually actually staying 3 a.m. Uh, with my friends band Call Us Kings uh back at uh Oktoberfest this year. Oh, uh, well nice. last year, but yeah. So it was it was, it was nice. Um, um, my friend said I um um um. um my friend who's the lead singer at Call Kings, he said um, that overpowered him with, with, with my voice. <laughs> I, 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 like, like, you can hear me singing it, but you can't hear him singing it. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but I guess my mic was too loud. I just thought of another question for you guys. What initially made you want to get into this? Oh, for me, it was boredom. <laughs> for me, it when was... I, go ahead, go, go, go ahead, finish. When I first started back in 2012, I came up here, but that was before we had a lot of this nice stuff, and it was... It's like, oh, I won't have time. Then um, our assistant manager, Tim, said in class one day, you should really join the radio station. <laughs> and I'm probably one of the most hated shows with the music <laughs> I play, but it's fun. Hey, yeah, it whatever makes you happy, you know. But for me, it's um, it was it was it was, was for my passion of music, and uh, I like music a lot. And uh, actually, my ex girlfriend was actually the one who actually uh, got me into going to college. Mm, nice. uh, she got me to go in here, um, stuff. She was into radio and stuff, and uh. And um and and she got she, and she got me into uh, doing radio and stuff. So I so, but mostly, but mostly the reason why I want to get the radio is because it's 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 a passion for music that I like. I like I like I like I like playing um um a different artists and stuff and playing new local up and coming artists and stuff. I always I always I always I always try to play some up up and coming artists on my um on my shows on Fridays. Yeah. Um like uh like Aaron Burke. I don't know if you know if you know who that is. Um she um, she goes to school here. Well she's well, she's well, she's taking a semester off this this semester. Mm. Uh but she uh, she she she's like she sings like country alternative. Oh nice. Um and there's um, uh, Call Us Kings and stuff. I'll start playing your guys' stuff soon. Um yeah. uh, probably um well not just Friday but next Friday. Um obviously we have obviously we have Aaron Burke on the show uh, uh Friday cool. so, um um. Uh, I play uh I play like a lot of the local artists like Promise Hero and stuff like that and I try That's to really play nice. uh I play um I try to play uh I I'm trying to get a hold of the Bakers I don't know if you, if you know who they are they're the the, on the, on, on, on the, the, they're local they play at uh, the they play this place called a shop all the time in Painesville. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I hear, I hear that. Yeah, that um, venue uh, and uh, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get to play some of their stuff. I find it uh, because they sound like a the old school Green Day. Oh, that's pretty cool. So. Yeah. So I play a lot of old stuff. So. It's nice that you do that for you know all the local artists. It's really yeah. Cool. Um. Um. And some of them. Some of them actually watch. Um, some of them. I'm close friends with. I will watch the show and, and listen to it. Stuff like, hey, you play my song. I'm like, yeah, I play your song. He's like, it's like it's just too bad that um, um that we're not uh, that we're not broadcasting over the over the, over the airwaves yeah, and stuff. Like, we, yeah. You, don't, you can't. I mean, really. we're trying to get something done, but I don't think anything, anything's gonna happen anytime soon. Uh, uh, um, because we don't have the money for it at all. Yeah, yeah. But it's hey. like it's it's like fifty grand to get to get um, um wow. it's like um it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fifty to a hundred grand to get um to get, to get airwaves started or something like that, and, yeah, then, and, that's, and that's how much we have, and all the equipment we have here is like fifty grand. Wow. All, all the equipment we have here, so I have to put on like a like you were saying like another like a, a benefit show yeah. or something to try to raise the money or hey even um have go fund like every semester or something Indiegogo, like that. Indiegogo, you know. Try some of those sites, you know, try to do something like that because I know we do that a lot with like, you know, yeah. filmmaking and stuff like that. The way I see it is we have live streams that we're worldwide <laughs> right now, though. It's yeah, just true. promoting. Yeah, it's just, yeah. We have, uh, we have, we have, we have, we have a person uh, uh, tuning in from what, Germany or something? Like yeah, that? something like that a while wow. back. Yeah, yeah so, cool. someone, so, 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 someone from Germany was watching was like, <laughs> like Germany. That's crazy. That's uh, awesome. Bro. So, I've, I thought of another question for you now. Do you plan on never doing music videos? Yeah, yeah, eventually. Um, I've really gotten, over the years, too, I've really gotten into acting and, um, you know, producing and writing. I'm actually writing a script with a, another film student at my school, 
right now. I'm actually in the works of two scripts that I'm writing personally. And um, yeah, I mean, I, we, me and the guitarist had this really cool envision for um, one of the songs on the CD that we wanted to do. Um, it's kind of like basically um, war. It's like an ambush, uh-huh. you know, and like two like two soldiers going through the desert and they're ambushed and they're kinda lost. Like, um, kind of like, like the song was when when, when when September ends, bro. Yeah. Day, yeah, yeah, essentially, kind of like that in a premise. Um, but yeah, we had a really cool idea for that. Um, and eventually, once we start getting up and running here, that's hopefully I'll talk to him again. And be like, hey man, we got to go back. We got to do this. We got to do the song. Mm-hmm. You know, fine tune it and get the music video. Do you need any extras? I'm, I yeah. won't. I won't. There's actually, uh, there's actually a person I have in mind uh, for for music videos. Uh, because he does a, he does a lot for local artists and stuff. He um, um he even travels um uh, on down to Columbus and stuff and does band, band stuff. His name is Vince Lundy. Um, he's actually the uh, the, uh, the guitar player for uh, Call Us Kings. Oh wow. He does, he, I mean, I mean, he does music videos and stuff like that with his camera and stuff. So, it, yeah, I'll have to. Uh, I'm looking up. Give me his contact look up, information. I'm, I'm looking up on Facebook and stuff or um or or Twitter or whatever. Yeah. Um, so. I'll find them, check them I'll give out. you guys cool. contact information after the show. Yeah. If offered, would you ever play at Warp Tour? Oh, yeah, in a heartbeat. Um, like I said, yeah, being little and always going, I always see myself on stage, you know, looking at the artists. And I was like, it just, it's a very cool, fun atmosphere. I know, like, they used to do, um, with all the artists, like, they used mm. to do, like, a big, um, I believe it was kickball or maybe softball. Like, they would have all the, all the bands on the bill, you know, so you'd have, like... Mm. A day to remember versus rancid, you know, oh, and cool. uh, softball and never, stuff. Never, never always, heard of that before. Yeah, they always do like crazy things like that. And uh, you know, me when I was little, I'd always uh, follow alternative press, uh-huh. you know, oh, magazine yeah. and everything. You know, I'd always read the. I'm actually going to the music time. awards. Well, hopefully, if if I if I yeah. if my press could if my press could credentials go through, <laughs> um, uh, so I can go backstage and stuff. Um, Is it because, expensive though? Isn't it? Um, well, tickets well tickets were like uh, the early bird tickets were like forty two ninety nine plus t- but, uh, um, 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 for service fee, but they sold out in like within, w- 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 within like an hour. Yeah. Um, but um, but but, but with my press uh, credentials because I um I'm, I'm an intern for Cougar 93.7 uh, oh, down okay. the street on Mary Avenue. Yeah. Uh, next to next to Mix ninety seven point one. Um. Uh, uh. My my boss uh, fill out uh, fill out paperwork uh, to get to get press credentials. Yeah, so, uh, we, so we can 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 so we so so hopefully all that goes through for me. So you're really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> be awesome. <laughs> but 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 there's always next year to go by myself. You know if you know, if I want to go if I want to go with my dad or something or if I want to go, you know um you know see see some bands next year. Um, um they, they always they always have the music awards in July. Um 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 uh, um right before um a warp tour comes like the pl- comes to blossom and stuff. They always they always have it. They had last year the tw- uh. 21st 21st or something like that is it always in cleveland it's always in cleveland yeah, oh yeah, i just cleveland. I it was last, just last year last thing. year no, last no. year was the uh, last year was behind uh, the rock hall yeah last um, year was the first year they did it in yeah cleveland, now it's and now it's now, now it's at the queue yeah because they used to do it i think they used to do it in texas i believe like austin texas or some something weird like that now um, it's in cleveland because the rock hall of fame and stuff and mm-hmm. then they, yeah. Yeah, 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 i have the inductees and stuff and all that stuff and because i know yeah last year was the uh first year because they had mgk on it yeah remember, you know so do you have any, do you have any upcoming shows um not right now i know me and the guitarist rob we've been talking and uh you know we're just gonna work on music basically um that's our main goal is to get some new some new tunes out and then hopefully start playing some shows this summer that's what we have lined up. So, I know, just, you, I know you said you like the flood from your CD, so I think we'll play it really quick if that's right. okay with you. Yeah. The lights, they dance across the open water, jumping without a sound. The leaves blessfully changing color as they fall upon the ground.
And we are back. That was the flood. Um, that was that was pretty good actually. Yeah. So Kyle, do you have any more questions or? Um. Uh, you you asked uh, how they got the name and stuff. Um. Uh, huh. a tough one. You put me on the spot again. <laughs> do you have um, any questions for us? While he, I'm trying to think. Yeah, something good. Uh. No, I didn't man. I, I got it. one. Um, if you could play any instrument in the world. Um, what would it be and why? Mm, I wish I could play drums better. <laughs> drums better? <laughs> I, I can play drums. I can keep a beat. I'm, I'm decent, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I should have took lessons, you know, when I was younger. Um, yeah, well, I was always fond of playing drums. What about you, Kyle? Well, me, my, 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 which round I play? Well, I, 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 I play a little bit of drums right now, but I'm not really... Uh, I'm okay, but I I keep a beat... But, as long as long as long as my uh, as long as my um my uh, my kick drum pedal doesn't want to <laughs> double kick on me, yeah. it, 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 it wants to double tap. I'm like, ah, no, thank you. <laughs> but um, uh, but uh, my my high my my hi hats need to need to go. I need new ones for those. So uh, uh, I would I, I, I would say I would I would I would, I would want to work on getting my um uh getting more uh, into drumming more. Uh, was that was when I was a kid, about three or four. I used to drum on a. Uh, I was my, with my mom's wooden spoons on on, uh, on, on like those um um empty uh empty uh, um not ice buckets um but the, 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 the ice cream tubs. Yeah. Yeah. I used to make those when I was really little. Cool. And, my, and, and my awesome. mom has uh my mom has uh she has uh, uh video video footage of me doing that. And um and uh so I want to stick with drums and stuff. So I stick with, um I used to I used to be able to play um uh, what I like about you. Oh, yeah. I lost touch with that song <laughs> oh, so much, but um but um but five seconds of summer is bringing it back. Uh, so bringing I'm um, bringing the song back. Uh, so um, I don't know who originally wrote that song or originally played that song, but um, but um, that's a good song to play. It's a really good beat. It's a really easy beat to play. Um, but um, but yeah, I was stick I was stick with drums. Um, but um, if I can play a a a a instrument besides drums, it'd probably be guitar. If I can get my fingers to move, which which my fingers don't move very much because my pinky doesn't want to <laughs> bend at all. That's ever like 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 like, like this, this finger and this finger don't want to bend as much. Mm -hmm. So I mean, I mean, guitar we kind of um, shred shred uh, shred um uh, uh thunderstruck on on guitar. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, but it's my friend can do it, but I can't. I was, I was like I tried. I was like nope. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of funny because um, when we originally got our guitarist, it was just uh -huh. me and the me and the drummer, and uh, me and the drummer were like, "Man, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do?" And we were searching for people, and we were going through all this this hassle trying to find more yeah. people in the band. And uh, you know, we approached our guitarist, and I was like, "Hey, man, you know, come on, join the band." And he's like, "Okay." Um, he's like, "What do you guys need?" And we're like, "Well, how about you play drums?" So he originally started off on playing drums, and I had to give him credit because he's yeah. He was he was really good. I was like, what the heck, man? I wish I could be as freaking yeah. as good as you. And then even with our our drummer Jake, he can play bass like no tomorrow. Yeah. I'm like, what the heck, guys? Like, what? It's all, it's, it's, and here it's I am, like the fingers, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I suppose you guys want me to answer that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably bagpipes. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. That's pretty cool. We'll have to get you in on a song. We'll have to make a song with bagpipes. That'd be awesome. <laughs> bagpipes. That'd be pretty because awesome. I've always <laughs> wanted to learn, and then I realized that I could play at funerals and make. A oh, decent good money, yeah, yeah. Cause That'd be actually really cool. It's different. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. seventy-five percent Scottish, twenty-five percent Irish. So yeah. and saxophone, We're gonna get saxophone would be pretty cool to play too. With saxophone. Oh yeah. Tried that once. Got my hand stuck in one of the valves. <laughs> <laughs> they literally had to <laughs> cut the valve off. <laughs> so, <laughs> the recorder. <laughs> you guys remember that? Oh, oh, I hate those things. It's just so <laughs> annoying. Because when, you, when you hit the wrong note, it makes a really high pitch noise. Yeah. It really I'm sucks. I'm the tin whistle right now, so it's like the recorder. But oh, I hate those. I think we're out of time. So thank you again thank for you coming here. I'm I just want to say thanks too. Yeah, thanks to you guys. Thanks to Lake Radio. Radio. Guys shows if you guys play the garage yeah, shop or something like that, or um, if, you, if, you, if you play the local tavern uh, up, 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 up in Painesville, if they do yeah. mic yeah, night stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Like I said, just let us know. Um, you know, as far as getting us on one of the shows you guys have in the future, and you know, definitely. I keep as always yeah. keep us informed coming back. And we want to, as a band, you know, we want to say thank you so much to you guys and everybody at Lakeland here. Well, we hope you all enjoyed the show. More bands will be coming up, and I think till eight or nine tonight. Yes, no, and was, please watch those was bands. It, was, yes. Is that tonight or is that was it, was it well, so tonight's a late night? And then we have our band slam on Friday. Oh um, yeah, sorry. Starting at four. Come out, check it out. It's free. It's four thirty. Four four thirty. Four thirty to ten. I think doors open at four. Yeah. But yeah, doors open at four. Starts at four thirty. Come out and enjoy. Thank you for listening. This has been the Cleveland Radio Show on Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio.
we're listening to Lake Effect Radio. Keep rocking around.